Hey guys, so today I have a little swatch kind of review video because we've been just trying those babies out and those are, I think they are new because this is the first time I've seen them and they are the Power Pot Acrylics from MUA. So those are like kind of, I think, an idea of a li liquid lip lacquer lipstick kind of thing. So they do feel a little bit like the Apocalypse or... No, they are, I don't know they are apocalypse like Rimmel ones and they have those and I'll be having a little swatch video coming soon if you want to see it then just give us a video thumbs up so we can kind of compare them because I feel when I apply them they have the same kind of formula so the first one that I have which is the one on top is called unwrapped and I'll have either a little clip here how it looks like or I will just have it on the end because I want to give you a little shout out and let you know what I think about them and then the other one, which is on my lips now, is Potency. And I think it makes your lips a little bit more yellow than it should. But yeah. So I tried this one first when we went to Costa. And it does stay on your lips quite nice. But the color is absolutely different than the one in the packaging. The one in the packaging, it looks like a nice medium shade nude peach kind of color. But when you apply it on your lips, it's absolute peach. So um, it does. it's still a really nice color. It looks really nice with my tan now. But... Well, I, I expected it to be a darker color when I bought it. So, that's the one thing. The other one, it looks, as it looks, it looks like that on the lips. Um, the color, the application is quite tricky. It applies a little bit like a velvet finish, but then it's very glossy at the same time. So, yes. It doesn't apply like a lip gloss, it more applies like a lacquer to your lips. First one, the application is quite easy. I had it on my lips for around an hour and a half and it gets gets very dry so if you have because my uh, lips and my around lips is quite dry so this is that that's why it might be a problem but um remember to moisturize your lips quite well before applying them for around two hours on my lips hour hour and a half two hours something like that between hour and two hours and i had a costa at the same time so i was drinking and it stayed on my lips quite nicely but this time i got home i could see like it will get very chapped in my dry places so this might be a little problem for some people i feel like for a video or just going somewhere or taking pictures i think it will be actually quite a cool color or like i say just moisturize your lips quite a bit so that's the one thing when it dries out on your lips it's quite hard to take it off so now the other hand we have the darker color which is the potency um i think they had five four or five different colors they had those two and they had pink, like bright pink and red, so four colors. Um, and they didn't have any, like, um, they had the tester from the pink one, but they didn't have a real pink. So I thought, I'm not going to get it because they just had the tester. Maybe I will go back and get them. Like, I will see how I like how they feel on my lips for a while. So yeah, with this one, it's absolutely terrible to apply on your lips. If you are not a professional makeup artist or someone who's amazing with their lips or don't have a perfect pouty, big lips, it's going to be really, really, really hard to apply it to your lips. Especially if you have a small lips, it's going to be absolutely nightmare. Um, so the second thing that I've done, I took it all off because it was smearing everywhere and it was really, really, really hard to apply. I used the MUA Intense Color in Berry Line. That's the... Oh, it is an eyeliner. I thought it was a lip liner. Anyway, I used it on my lips. I swear to God, I thought it was a lip liner. Because, like, who will use an eyeliner this color? It looks like someone punched you in your eye. Well, if you guys want to see a tutorial using this color, let me know. But I literally... It says eyeliner. I swear, I thought it was a lip liner. Anyways, let's just move on from this. So I use my eyeliner because this is the closest color that I had to it and it it looks much better it was way less problems with application but this isn't a color to take out and just put on because it because it is a lip lacquer no it's very hard in the application so I think if I'll be putting this on it will be just for like a video or pictures or if I'll be just going somewhere and I'll know like I'm gonna start eating so I can just wipe it off and I'll put a different color on because it's absolutely nightmare to apply but the color looks exactly like the one in a tube. It's very opaque, literally two swipes, and it is on your lips. And I'm look, looking in the viewfinder because I know how I feel about it. It does make your teeth a little bit more yellow, which I'm not a fan of. But if you're just going to be on a picture, then it doesn't matter. I do love the packaging. It's like very sleek and it's like a rectangular shape. So if you have quite a few, I think it will look actually, actually very cute if you would just put them like this. 
Um, the price is three seven three fifty for each, so I paid seven pounds for those. I think I'll be going back to try more. Um, after all, three fifty is not the end of the world because the Rima ones they go from five fifty up. Um, so yes. For now, I would say yes, go and try it out. Be careful with applications. So if you are not the best with application, you might not like it as much. Uh, the lighter one to blend it out more into my lips, kind of. I just packed it around my my lines of my lips. But I would do recommend using a lip liner with them because I think it will make the application way easier. So yes, if you want to guys see how they apply and how they look, then just carry on watching. One which is in a color unwrapped. And it looks like a darker nude kind of color. And I have my little bronzer with the little dirty mirror, but it is a mirror. So. It smells like vanilla. I think to get it perfect, you need to have a scale of I don't know who, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pad my lips a bit and I feel like it blends better. So this is the first lip color and it's unwrapped. if it works just like that I would say it's quite hard to apply, to be honest. 